gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the heartiest, heartiest place to be. We want you to have fun, so get ready to party down with America's favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese.
Now here's the real story about Humpty, he's my homie A pretty good egg, not a slacker or a pony Man, he grew up in his nest, his mama clucking like a chicken Didn't like the straw and the way that it was sticking to his shell Shell, his mighty fine shell Now Humpty started wishing he was more than what he was Like a soldier or a prince or a rebel with the cause He started getting restless like a clock he kept on ticking The seconds and the minutes and the hours started picking at his shell His shell, his mighty fine shell Dumpty's on the wall, he's been up there all day His mom's afraid he's gonna fall, but he just wants to stay She asked him why and he replied, you know there's more to me Than what you see, what you see, what you see, yeah Humpty rolled out through the barnyard and he headed for the gate Didn't care that he had homework and it was getting late He had to get outside, roll away from the rest didn't want to be all safe and warm inside the nest Inside his shell, his shell, his mighty fine shell All his buddies, they were climbing up the wall a fateful day And when they spotted Humpty Dumpty, they just started in the same Hey dude, come on up, you gotta see the view from here Look, yes, yeah, sir, you a chicken egg shaking with fear Inside, inside your shell, shell. your shell, your, your, shell, your mighty, mighty fine shell Dumpty's on the wall, he's been up there all day They were screaming Come on, you're almost to the top And Humpty huffed and puffed But he didn't want to stop inside his shell His shell, his mighty fine shell Cause there was something that he wanted And he knew that it was there It's when his buddy started chanting And it floated on the air Go Humpty, go Humpty Go, go, go Humpty Inside your shell, your shell Your mighty fine shell Humpty Dumpty's on the wall He's been up there all day Now Humpty sat up on the wall all day and tried to figure out What was going on inside him, they just wanted to get out Then he jumped up, raised his arms and gave a mighty yell And that's the moment when he lost his balance and he fell I bought his shell, his shell, his mighty fine shell But something happened when old Humpty Dumpty hit the ground There was the cracking of the shell and then a funny little sound It was the cheaping of a chicken, newly hatched, just set free It was the person deep inside that Humpty always wanted to be Outside his shell, his shell, Humpty his mighty the wall. fine Outside yeah. of his shell He knew he had to show the all It turned you out really Humpty. well Sometimes to grow you, you have work. to say Let me fly away <laughs> Sounds like Humpty finally got his wish. I didn't think chickens could fly. <laughs> That's not the point. What is it the point? The point is that Humpty had dreams, and he followed his heart to make his dreams come true. Well, I'm dreaming of a big pizza. Uh, let's take a break. Good idea, Munch. We'll be right back, kids. See you later. Outside chase roaches in the dark I am a dog I am a dog on dog 
guy, I'm the doggone this dog you've ever seen. I am a tail wagon love machine. And some of us go ruff, ruff, ruff. And some of us ba 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 bow wow wow. And some of us yibbity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will never hear us say meow. All right, girls and boys, before we get too far into this song, I'd like to introduce you to the dogs in the band. First up, Mr. Benjamin Boxer on bass. Outstanding, Ben. Now put your paws together for Demetrius Dalmatian on the drums. Now, back by popular demand, the Shepherd Sisters, Samantha on saxophone, and Serafina on synthesizer. And as for me, you can call me Bruce. You better hope, baby, that your cat don't come loose. I'll chase it up. I'll chase it up the highest tree. You better go inside, dial 911. I got a kitty looking down at me. How did you do it? Row, row, row. Or maybe, ba 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 wow. It could have been yibbity. Yap, yap, yap. But you did not hear me say meow. No, you'll never hear me say meow. Meow. I definitely heard someone say meow. Break. Okay, okay, just a little to the, to the right. Yeah, thank you. I have a tongue, it's got your name on it. I am a slobbering fool, cause you can tell me to sit or you can tell me. I go outside, lay down or stay. You can take away my bone, my chew stick too, but I will always have a paw for you. Even when it gets rough, 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 rough I make you feel ba ba ba. Bow wow wow. And though we make you bitter, yeah, yeah, yeah. you will never hear us say meow. No, you'll never hear us say meow. No, you'll never hear us say meow. Hi kids, my name is Shannon and I'm from Spokane, Washington and you're watching CEC TV. Chucky, how you doing? Hey, Chucky. I've got a song that I'd like to share with everyone. Do you mind? Well, of course not, Jasper. Uh, what's the song about? It's about sharing. Oh, I like to hear about sharing, oh, yeah. yeah. Sounds fun. When things are going wrong And you can't get along And you just don't know what you're gonna do Well, listen up, my friend I'll tell you how to begin To make your world a much better place Sharing Sharing hey. Sharing Makes the world a much better place Lots of 
enjoy It's a perfect oh, gift for any girl or boy You never had anything that was so cool Oh, come on now, come on And then this kid comes by, he wants to give it a try You say, no way, that toy's all oh. mine And that's no way to win new friends, it's true You're the only one <laughs> There's no one there to hit the ball to you But that didn't sound like fun at all Well, if you'd learn to share and call a friend That tennis game wouldn't have to end And then you'd know sharing is so cool Oh yeah, you said it! You know, there are a lot of things we can share No, really? Uh, like what? <laughs> like toys or food or even fun <laughs> You could even share a laugh That's true, Pesquale yeah, but you were just kidding about the food part, right? I, I mean, I'm not going to share my pizza. Come on, Munch, it's not that hard. Well, I don't know. Sure, and there's plenty for everyone. Munch! Come on, Munch. Okay, I was just kidding. Sharing isn't very hard. You can share while you are playing cards. You can even share your pizza with the band. And if we do our very best to share when we have the this girl will turn out better in the end Everybody Sharing 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 oh, yeah. Makes the world a much better place Sing it now Sharing Sharing sharing, the band and I are going to share a short break together. We'll be right back. So long. Ta -ta. Bye. We'll see you later. <laughs>
the band would like to present a dramatic presentation of an old classic, Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, just upon a time. Haven't eaten all day. You think you have it bad, but think again. I'd rather be out shopping with a friend. I have to walk all day, can take a break. And look, this basket full of food and cake. Then let me help you take a load off your feet. Give me that basket, and it's good as I'll eat. This basket for my dear old granny, you see. She lives that way, and she's just dog Super Jasper and today Super Jasper is going to use his super duper powers to do the impossible. That's right, this will be the ultimate test of Super Jasper's tremendous willpower. Ooh, this is exciting. Super Jasper will be locked inside this cage where there will be no escape. And then we will put into the cage one very monstrous meatloaf dinner with all the trimmings. The question is, 
Can Super Jasper resist the temptation for one full minute, or will he lose control and devour the food? Super Jasper, any words for our audience? Yeah, don't try this at home. Only a professional such as myself should try to resist the temptations of such a delicious home-cooked meal. Let's do it! All right, the timer has started and here comes the food. Look at Super Jasper eyeing up that delicious meatloaf. What a daredevil. He's flirting with danger, tempting himself with a couple of sniffs. Oh, how can he resist that delicious meatloaf? Mmm, oh. smothered oh. in rich, thick gravy. And how will he resist these wonderful, fluffy mashed potatoes just dripping with butter? Oh, mashed potatoes. And what about these delectable, steaming, hot ears corn. of corn? Oh, man, I love corn. What nerves of steel! Not even this big, jiggly bowl of strawberry jello oh. will cause Super oh. Jasper to give in. Stop, you're torturing me! Yes, Super Jasper is using all his strength to hold out. But can he resist this lip-smacking rich banana cream pie? I can't take it! I can't take it! Yes, Super Jasper only has seconds to go. Will he be able to resist that yummy meal seasoned to absolute heavenly perfection? Oh, the pressure! The pressure! And now the final seconds. Three, two... I can't fight it. I don't one. care. I give up. Oh! Super Jasper, you've done it! You have resisted the temptation. How does it feel to once again do the impossible? And what are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese's. Of course. I knew he was going to say that. Kids, do you ever get gloomy thoughts? What's a gloomy thought? You know, sad, melancholy, blue. Oh, sure. We all get sad sometimes. Too true, Munch, too true. But you know what I do when I feel sad? I know. You think happy. That's right. Hit it, Munch. Think happy, 
not grouchy, not crabby, not cranky, think happy, cause happy thoughts are better. As if omelette wasn't bad enough. Ahem. <clears throat> Philippe? Jean-Claude? Oui? Really? <laughs> and now it is time for classy songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly, now fancy this, and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty, like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat a treat so fungy of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy A chocolate bliss A chocolate snack Conventions such as these are more than candy So what I buy a box of that I have my chocolate placed upon my lap I feel so good you just cannot top that I have my snack a chocolate pack of chocolate this and chocolate that Oh golly Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Upon his hat And so his neck So beneath his hat he thought and pondered What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat Upon his hat He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire And to a pool A chocolate hat I won't feel grand if I take off my hat The sun's getting hot my hat, it might go flat, and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dad furnace goes flat. He decided to forego his look so dashing to save his hat. And eat a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me. Sit close to me. Upon my hat. Upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. A great big squash just sat upon my hat. A great big squash just squished my hat real flat. He squashed my hat, he made it flat. He squished my snack. Oh, what a that? Oh, tell me anybody, now what do you think of that? A great big squash just sat upon my hat. Oh, golly, 
Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? Jack and Jill, yeah, together they went up that hill, <laughs> yeah, the poor guy, he fell down, I mean, way, way down, and the girl, she came tumbling too, <laughs> well, you might ask, what's the deal, with Jack and his friend Jill, well, if the truth be known, it was fate alone, they were done in by a banana peel, Just can't escape No matter where you go No matter what you know It's gonna find you Cause you got a date So does that mean They're gonna slip on that banana peel No matter where they went? That's right The peel's the deal Let's try it So Jack and Jill Went up the stairs Thinking they had the care But that banana peel Got under their heels They went sliding Tumbling through the air gonna split it oh, no pun intended oh, 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 we'll be back in a few minutes see you then bye kids
mama. I don't want to go to school. I don't think you understand. She will be there. She will be there, Mrs. Gilafrodnik. And she will. Take all the lunches from the little kids and put 'em in a big red box, and then with a slam the door shuts, bam, and then come the silver locks. She waves her hand over the top of the box, and on a count of three, off come the locks and the Twinkies that were had become cauliflower. Oh, my Gillifrednick power! What will we do? What will we do? What will we do? Well, nothing right now. She is the boss lady, and though our methods are somewhat shady, she has good intentions to help us see well. But somehow, Brussels sprouts don't ring my bell, Mrs. Gillifrednick. Mrs. Gillifrednick. A Mrs. Gillibanic, a bow, a bow, a bow on oh, you. Yeah. Go on, oh yeah. Go on, oh yeah. Go. A bed, jug, tumbles in place of sweet. Have you ever met a kid who does flips for beats? So well, no, I say, and I say no. The queen of zucchini, hey, she's gotta go. We must come up with a plan to rid old Gilafrodnick. Will someone please call Sidney Prowl, the kid with the brain? She can change a spell, 'cause we know like squash, we know like spinach. Arriva, Jesse, baby, you're finished, Mrs. Gilafrodnick. Mrs. Gillifrednick, and Mrs. Gillifrednick, a bow, a bow, a bow. Oh, Mrs. Gillifrednick, and Mrs. Gillifrednick, and Mrs. Gillifrednick, a bow, a bow, a bow. Oh yeah. Sydney. Well, Sydney Prell is coming, and she has a good solution to get rid of Mrs. Gillifrednick very, very soon. All the children of the world should come together. Yes, they better. Everybody, cross your fingers and your little toesies too. Well, Sydney unveiled the reverse broccolita, the invention worth a mention that lets us say, "See ya later, bye, Mrs. G." It's been swell. Well, I'll be eating ding dongs by the first bell. But don't worry, Mrs. G. When we get home, we will be off for carrot sticks and stuff. Our parents, I like you. They think goodies will only do, but we tell you it's not enough, Mrs. Gillifrednick. And mom and daddy, I'll both of you together. If you know what's best of all, if you know what's best of all, if you know what's best, if you know what's the best for you. I'm glad you came to my place today. Yeah, you're all very special and important people. And we've got a question to ask you. Would, Would you, you be, be my, my friend? friend? Would you be my friend if I asked you? Would you be my friend? Would you wanna? Would you be my friend? Cause friends are forever. Would you be my friend? Would you be my friend? I'll be your friend because you're special. You sure are, and you'll be my friend through thick and thin. 
That's right. Then we'll be friends through all the good times. And when things are bad, we'll still be friends. You'll be my friend. If I asked ya, come on, would you be my friend? Would you wanna? I wanna be your friend. Would you be my friend? Cause friends are forever. Would you be my friend? Would you be my friend? And friends don't mind when you are silly <laughs> A friend is one who really cares Would you be my friend? If I asked ya, I wanna be yours Would you be my friend? Would you wanna? Would you be my friend? Cause friends are forever. Would you be my friend? Oh yeah. Would you be my friend? <laughs> Thanks for being my friend. Well, we're gonna take a break, but don't worry. We'll be back in a few short minutes. Cause friends are friends forever. You bet. See you Once again, it's time for a rhyme from the band. And now, here they are, Chuck E. Cheese and the band. Once upon a fairy tale, in a fun game you can play it. Three little investors, Chuck and Rich, in a dot com kind of way. They made a fortune selling toys on the internet, you see. My cyber store sells high cookware I'm as happy as can be I deliver pizza as fast One click of a mouse, that's me Looks like we got a lot of dough Let's party down our house Yeah! Yes, 
close until we meet again. The second little festival, jump box, play some movies too. Mama, Mia, my moms are in the trash. Now what am I gonna do? <laughs> Investor, let me come in. Not to buy the hair of my chin chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll take this part of your house until we meet again. The third little investor diversified, saved his hard earned cash. <laughs> I got a long term strategy to make my fortune last. Yeah.
Hi, my name is Steve. I'm a manager here at Chuck E. Cheese in Spokane, Washington, and we're all just hoping you have a great time at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah.